And some of you may have guessed it. All right, we got a Brom racing seat. with another video you got a very important video as I am starting to build the 1320 um, you'd be surprised how crazy the 1320 community is and how close-knit they actually are um, but you can see all right I'm not in the 1320 man I drove all the way down here to Columbia South Carolina to meet a really good friend of mine um, for a surprise man so stay tuned man but of course make sure you like comment subscribe all of that good stuff man because what you're gonna see is a slow build up to me finally picking up my car and finding out numbers and how fast this thing is really gonna be guys let's get to it guys yeah, so you can tell <laughs> outfit change number one um, two we are on the way back from Columbia I decided to eat and if you know me man I I can't eat without getting some on a shirt man um, but you can see all right in the back seat here we have a little surprise man um, and I didn't even get a chance to get him on camera. He's not really a camera guy anyway, but 1320 Fury on Instagram, man. I'm gonna drop a few videos here now. Like I said, the 1320 community is uh, is a little tight knit, man. Um, and they all are, are very friendly people. Uh, Chad has been really, really huge in my actual build. And I don't know if you can tell, man, but yes, I'm in the daily. Look how fast we're going, you guys. Um, but it was one of those things that I'm taking it to the next level with this car. And he had something that I had been looking for. And if you know anything about his car, um, he actually uh, blew his motor in it, etc. Um, he had two 1320s, still has one of them. The other one he blew it and ended up you know, rebuilding and selling it. Um, but as you can see in the video, my man can cut a light and can race, right? And everybody's gonna probably be like, oh, well, it was only an eighth of a mile. I don't care. He came to the track and knew it was an eighth of a mile, right? And all I hear is how well you know, people can get out of a hole in an all-wheel drive car and blah, blah, blah. And this just goes to show that the 1320 is just set up different, man. Now, again, he had one heck of a driver behind the wheel. Um, but I am actually headed to Bosworth um, to not only show you guys what is in uh, what is in this little, little, little bag here, you guys. Um, but it's, it's going to be an ongoing process, man. You guys can obviously tell. I'm going through a lot with this car right now. I'm trying to do a lot at once. Um, the main goal right now is to get it to a certain number that I'm looking for, and then I'll just put it all back together and go from there, all right? So you guys get a little hint, all right, if you can think about what, what's in that bag there. Uh, but once I get to Bosworth, I'll show you what's in the car. We'll get inside, and that's a wrap. So, finally made it back to Charlotte, all right? I'm gonna finally show you what is in, all right? what is in this car and some of you may have guessed it all right we got a Brom racing seat for the 1320 you guys I got the black with what I consider the carbon fiber kind of look here uh, now it is a little dusty you guys it's been in the back of the car for a minute um, but again Chad hooked me up the 1320 on um, that you just saw all <laughs> right yeah the track hawk right and and it's got plenty of cars in his time man um i'm not gonna take it fully out until i put it in the car man but i will uh show you guys what it's gonna look like but shout out to chad again 1320 fury on instagram let's get this thing out of the car and 
And here is the seat. The black leather Brom racing seats again, kind of with the pleated carbon fiber details, All right? Super clean seat. Can't wait to put it in, in the 1320, man. The fact that I can pick this up with one hand, you guys, um, I would say this is probably a 15 pound seat. I haven't even looked at the specs yet, um, but man, I'm super happy with it. Looking to get a second one for the other side just to ride around that way. That way I don't have to keep popping stuff in and out. Um, we're gonna see though, man. But again, shout out to 1320 on this, or 1320 Fury. All right, you played a huge role in this. Um, but yeah, all the way in Columbia, South Carolina, came back with it and it's done, man. Um, I'll put it in the car as soon as it's done. All right, yes, I'm at Bosworth. You can see the red eye is not in here right now. Um, but crazy seat, man. I can't wait to put it in. All right, so as you can tell, all right, this is the first part of my weight reduction series on YouTube, right? Um, I am going to basically take out all the weight that I can on the 1320. Again, my goal is a certain number right now in my head in the eighth and the quarter mile that I want to be able to reach. And once I reach that, I'll put everything back in and have it as a quote unquote show car, etc. But right now I'm going all in on this build, trying to follow in the footsteps of a good friend, man. Catch up. All right. Um, definitely inspired me. Had the record for the only nine second pass in the Audi 4.0 Turbo, which is the uh, RS7 in the United States, right, on this on this soil, right? Um, now, I'm never going to touch anything like that in this car, um, but the inspiration behind it is really what I'm shooting for, man. Uh, so shout out to Catch Up if you're watching this, man. Um, definitely a huge inspiration on it. Um, and, you know, we're going to see what else I can take out. Um, you guys can probably guess there will be a rear, rear, rear seat delete. Jeez, I cannot talk. Rear seat delete, taking out the passenger seat. Going to be doing a different battery, Scavenger 1320. If you follow him on YouTube and Instagram, you just saw he switched out his battery. What else? Um, taking out seat belts, little minor things that way that actually add up. Every 100 pounds is about a tenth of a second um, that way. But we're going to see, man. I'm, I'm hoping for the best when it comes to all the weight reduction um, because just with the seats, you're taking about 200 pounds out. Um, so we're going to go from there, you guys. So I hope you liked the video. Finally got to see the first part of what the weight reduction series is going to be like. Um, so there will be videos here in the next couple, coming weeks of all the weight reduction stuff that I'm going to do. You're going to have a series of the build of the car as well. Um, and we're going to go from there, man. So make sure you stay tuned, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And we're out.